not a main break since thousands of gallons of water flowing into the neighborhoods near McClintock and Apache Boulevard. Caught in the middle, a Valley Metro bus carrying 12 people, including the driver. The driver saw some water in the roadway. He moved over to try to get out of it, but as he was going through the water, uh, the bus immediately went into the ground. It colla the, the streets collapsed from underneath him. Trapped, the driver and passengers escaped through an emergency window. Nearby, business and homeowners scrambled to protect their properties, even bailing water as it creeped towards their front doors. We tried a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a desperate thing, but we did what we thought we needed to do in the moment. Once crews shut the main off and the water receded, you could see just how much trouble the bus was in. Stuck in a huge sinkhole, it was also sitting on top of a gas line. Then the first two tow trucks on the scene weren't tough enough to pull the bus out safely. The bus was continued to sink a little bit more like a suction cup um, and pulling the, the tow truck back. So they stopped that. A crane was called in and after seven hours of being stuck, the crane lifted the bus onto solid ground where it could be towed away. They took their time and that's exactly what they should have done, lifted it up off the pipe. You know. For bystanders, it was a safe end to what started as a crazy show. I thought it was pretty gnarly, the bus falling through the ground, you know. I never seen nothing like that. <laughs>